Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And we are in a journey through the New Testament. Our goal here in this channel, in this channel, is to have a meditation, a short meditation, one or two verses of each chapter in the New Testament. And I'd like to invite you to take this journey with us. And, uh, but in this specific journey, sometimes I'm going to skip some chapters because I already have meditation on them. So we're not going to revisit them. So, but if you search in this channel, you're going to find a meditation, a short meditation in every chapter of the, the New Testament. So that is the goal. And I'd like also to invite you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. Let's see the verse for today. We're, we're going to the Gospel of John and I already have meditation on the chapter 1, so we're going to chapter 2. It's a very interesting story. And, uh, and, uh, and, and this is what Jesus says, chapter 2, verse 22. This is what John says. After he had, was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. The, this is talking about the, 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 the cleaning of the temple and Jesus talking about his body. Uh, I will destroy this temple in three days. I will rebuild again. He was talking about the resurrection. And the, the disciples kind of, probably the disciples and everybody else in that group kind of, was kind of, you know, what? what, 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 what's going on here? But then when he resurrected, remember that he said that he would send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would explain things, teach them, guide them. And, uh, and so help them to understand. And then they understood. They said, oh, he was talking about his body. Oh, that was the death and his resurrection. Okay, now we got. And, and this, is a, this is a very interesting aspect of our Bible reading, studying. And this is why we have to read, meditate, study, memorize if we can, and read it again, read it again, read it again. Because sometimes in the first reading, we, we have no clue what they are talking about. And then we read it again, and then we, we read some, we hear some messages, we, we read some commentaries, and, all, and then things are kind of falling in the right place and say, okay, now they are, now they are feeding here, now I can understand. There are things, my friend, that we will never understand in this side of heaven. So, yeah, don't, don't be frustrated. Because, yeah, a lot, a lot of things we're not going to understand. There are things that uh, we're going to read and we're not going to understand right away. But there are things that is going to take some time. God needs to show that to us, to help us to understand. And it takes time. It takes reading, studying. So don't, do not get frustrated with your Bible study, Bible reading. Do, do, do not give up. Continue to read. I don't understand. I don't get it. Continue to read. Because one of these days, it's going to click. And you're going to learn. And it's, it's like the, the, the eyes are going to open. So, oh, oh, that was it. You know? And, and it's, it's great when we have those kind of aha moments in our journey with Christ. We're reading the script, reading the script, and we don't get it. We know that verse, we know that verse, but I don't understand, I don't understand. And then suddenly out of nowhere, boom, our eyes are open and the, and the inspiration and the, 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 the theologians call the illumination, illumination of the Holy Spirit happens. And then we got it. So do not give up your Bible study, your Bible reading. Continue to read, continue to study, continue to pray. Asking God to help you to understand. And, and, he, and some things you're going to understand right away. It's right there. But some things are going to take some time. So do not give up. 
persevere. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.